Hola, les habla el doctor Zev Goldig, jefe de anestesia, recuperación y servicio del dolor aquí en el Hospital Carmel, en Haifa, y expresidente de la Sociedad Europea de Anestesiología y Cuidados Intensivos. En este video demostraré cómo el monitoreo de NOL nos ayuda a los médicos a proporcionar una analgesia personalizada al brindarnos un reflejo objetivo de la nocicepción durante la cirugía bariátrica. Cuando se trata de cirugía bariátrica, la obesidad es un factor de riesgo conocido para la depresión respiratoria inducida por opioides, con el consiguiente mayor riesgo de apnea obstructiva del sueño. Por lo tanto, es deseable utilizar técnicas anestésicas que promuevan una emergencia rápida una sedación posoperatoria mínima y una deambulación temprana. La adopción de un protocolo de ahorro de opioides reduce el riesgo de depresión respiratoria inducida por opioides y produce menos náuseas y vómitos posoperatorios. Sin embargo, puede constituir un verdadero desafío predecir si este tipo de régimen de analgesia será efectivo, por lo que es vital monitorear la nocicepción junto con la profundidad de la anestesia. Vengan conmigo al quirófano y veamos cómo el NOL puede ayudarnos durante estas cirugías. We have now connected the probe which contains four different sensors measuring platysmograph and galvanic skin response for conductance. These are the main two uh, parameters and uh, two complementary parameters supporting them are the skin temperature and movement by accelerometry. The machine is capturing the uh, signals from the patient and building up database that we will use during all the operation. As you can see here, the machine will take a couple of seconds between 30 seconds until uh, one minute analyzing the specific data of the patient. We want to achieve the numbers between 10 and 25. These are the values we want to have during the operation, meaning that the management of the analgesia during the operation is a good management. The induction uh, of the anesthesia will be using the drugs that you can see in this list. Because there is still no stimulus, you can see that the null is uh, in the value of uh, 16. In this moment, 15, 16. We will have the opportunity to measure during this operation three important parameters. Null for nociception and pain, BIS for bispectral index, which is a kind of a electroencephalogram, and the third one is the train of four and the uh, monitoring of the neuromuscular function, uh, showing the relaxation during the uh, operation. And we will try using the null to spare maximum that we can the uh, quantity and the dosage of the opioids. So intubation is one of, of the strongest stimulus at the beginning of the operation. You can see at the null monitor what is happening when we uh, put the uh, tube in. The interaction between BIS and the null index is uh, very important. It will give us the, the exact status of the patient uh, regarding hypnosis on one side and analgesia on the other side. After the machine uh, captured and analyzed during the first minute of the anesthesia, these personalized values for this patient, this will allow us to have a, what is called a personalized anesthesia. That means that the values of the null 
of this patient will be values uh, that are adapted to the nociception activity of this particular patient. So we can see that these are very, very useful tools how to control uh, all parameters of anesthesia. Now we are starting the operation and uh, we can look at the values of the null and mark here events, stimuli, the incision. And you can see that the null is slowly reacting and uh, showing us the values of nociception. What is important here is the trend and what is uh, the values that we are getting over one minute. This is coming back to the baseline of a appropriate level of analgesia and hypnosis. We could achieve uh, reducing MAC uh, of this patient to very, very uh, low values because we are controlling all the time null index and bis. As you can see, the trend allows us now to uh, lower the dosage of remifentanil, of the anal analgetics. So we will try taking, taking advantage of the sparing effect of opioids that the null will allow us. Reducing the uh, opioids dosage during the operation is very important because uh, one of the very well-known side effects is post-operative nausea and vomiting. Since we started using the null index uh, during our operations together with the BIS, we could reduce uh, in a good way uh, the uh, use of opioids to the minimum necessary uh, dosage. And then we had much less post-operative nausea and vomiting and different side effects we didn't want to have. At this stage of the operation, the uh, surgeon asked us to create deliberate hypertension in order to check hemostasis. As you can see, blood pressure is high, but null didn't change at all. The classical approach was basing our anesthesia and the drugs we give according to blood pressure and heart rate. Here, we know that it is not related at all with pain or no, a high nociception because we have the null. And uh, this is an artificial hypertension created by us only for the purpose of checking whether this patient has bleeding. As you can see, the BIS value was very, very stable during all the procedure. Not related to other changes in blood pressure or heart rate, now, as we can see, at the emergence from uh, anesthesia, we will see uh, higher values of null index and of BIS in parallel. Without any big changes uh, in heart rate or blood pressure still. How are you? How do you feel? Fine. Fine? You have pain now? No. Fantastic. Con la monitorización NOL y BIS, pudimos proporcionar anestesia adaptada a las necesidades reales del paciente, minimizando el uso de opioides con una rápida recuperación de la anestesia sin complicaciones relacionadas.